If you are watching She-Hulk then you are definitely aware of what happened at the end of its second episode. We see Hulk traveling in space in a Sakaar ship. Well then, this could be it. We could finally get to see the World War Hulk storyline. Who doesn't wanna see it, right? When was the last time we saw Hulk doing some action? It was in Avengers Infinity War where he gets beaten up by Thanos and since after that Hulk is on the back seat and has become kind of a running joke. A Hulk who doesn't fight, then what's the point of having all those big muscles and brute strength if you cannot defeat your enemies? The MCU fans are missing that badass Hulk who smashed the shit out of Loki, a god and also scared the shit out of Thor, another god. Let's talk about the World War Hulk storyline. So the World War Hulk storyline involves Illuminati members like Black Bolt, Tony Stark, Doctor Strange and Reed Richards banishing Hulk from Earth in a spacecraft which unfortunately explodes killing Hulk's pregnant wife Kyra for which Hulk blames the Illuminati and comes back on Earth to seek revenge for his dead wife. Now that Hulk has spent so much time absorbing the radiation levels on planet Sakaar, he gets more powerful than ever. Hulk is accompanied by his allies, Heroim, Korg, Elog, Mick, no name of the brute. On his way to Earth, Hulk stops at the moon and defeats Black Bolt first. Then he goes to the home of X-Men, where he defeats several teams of X-Men and also battles Juggernaut. The World War Hulk storyline involves crossovers between so many fucking superheroes like Ghost Rider, New Avengers, Mighty Avengers, Fantastic Four, Black Panther, Hercules, Namor and even Sentry. Just when Hulk has defeated each and every superhero he came across and plans to destroy the whole New York City, he is attacked by Sentry and the two have a great battle, until they revert into Bruce Banner and Robert Reynolds form. So the World War Hulk storyline could be adapted in a really big event movie for the Marvel Cinematic Universe and can give us a satisfying sequel to the 2008's Incredible Hulk movie. I'm aware of the fact that the Hulk movie rights are currently in the possession of Universal Studios but there's also news that Marvel Studios could get those rights. Or it could be a joint venture between Marvel and Universal just like Marvel and Sony for the Spider-Man movies. The World War Hulk storyline has everything that a good solo Hulk movie would need. And with the scene in which we saw Hulk traveling in a Sakaar ship, there's a big possibility that Marvel Studios is setting it up with one step at a time. Who knows that at the mid credit scene of She-Hulk's last episode, we could even get to see Hulk on the Sakaar planet. Let me tell you an interesting fact. In one of the Marvel's alternate universes, even Tony Stark is one of the inhabitants of the Sakaar planet. Let me know down in the comments whether you are interested in seeing the World War Hulk storyline or not and also name the opponents you wanna see Hulk fight like Sentry, Hyperion, Hercules and who not. If you liked this video let me know by giving it a thumbs up and stay updated of my upcoming videos by subscribing to Style and Punch and following us on Instagram. Take care and see you in another video.